Hello, guten Tag. It's Heiser Sonzi. I have maxed out my Black Diablo's bow for some time now, and it has been great. It is my go-to weapon for general monsters, and I'm working on leveling my elemental weapons now. I have Lurgiana for ice, Zinoko for thunder, and Ezo Rattalos for fire. It is obvious that my most preferred shot type for bow is rapid shots. Drillatoda's bow has rapid shots, but the stats are subpar. I didn't want to spend my Zenny's on it, just to have something better later on. With the introduction of Coral Pukebuke, it has the same stats as Rattalos, Zenoga, and Lurgiana. However, the bow has pierce shots. I had my fair share of hunts against Kuroyaku with pierce, and I absolutely hated it. Its hit is so small, and I can only pierce through maybe 2-3 to three hits, and that is bad for DPS. I had thought, well okay this monster has good helmet and koi, that's about it. Perhaps I'll make the hammer since it looks cool. Someone mentioned in Discord that the light bowgun has 4 sticky ammos, and that got me thinking. I checked mhn.quest to see how I can make this build. First off, Coral Poke's Koi is definitely the way to go. Take note that Water Attack 2 and Reload 2 are at Gloves and boot slots. I need 2 more Recoy and Palumu is probably a default choice for Gunners. Okay, now I've got my Recoy. Next, I need to max out my Reload. So, for no particular reason, I've decided to go with Juratoda's Gloves for Water Attack 2 and Azuratalos Boots for Reload 2. Now, I have Recoil and Reload at level 3 and Water Attack at level 2. Helmet doesn't have Water Attack though. So what should I use for Helmet? Coral Poke Poke is a good choice since I can get Weakness Exploit too. That is 25% affinity on weak spots. However, I don't think Sticky Ammo Explosion is affected by crit. I then realized that Devil Joe's helmet has two levels of slugger. Sticky ammo deals knockout damage and they are affected by slugger. Since we are unable to get water attack for helmet, I thought maybe I could have some fun with slugger. And fun I had. This is my final build for water light bowgun at this point. KO is fun and I can't wait to level up this weapon even more. I guess this weapon will fill up the void for water element. I have some gameplay based on this build, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, see ya. Bye!